So in this video we're going to take a look at how you get the UK charts or chart downloads um, in OpenPlotter. For me I downloaded my chart from uh, ocharts.org. So the first thing you need to do is load OpenCPM and head to options. Now depending on what chart type you want, whether that's vector or raster type charts, depends on the plugin that you use. There's two of these available um, and when you purchase your charts, depending on the format uh, that those charts come in, will tell you which plugin that you need to enable. Like I say, for me, it's this plugin here. So um, enable that, uh, download it and enable it. Um, but sometimes there are different plugins that you need to install. Um, this being the other type. So this, this is for the raster type chart, you can see here. So you would need to enable that. You'd need to be online to do this, but install the plugin. But for me, um, with them being vector charts, it's this one here, this plugin. This is the website. You can click on the area of, of charts that you wish to purchase. Um, and you can see that the, the cost there in uh, euros. For the area that, that I'm looking at, as I say, it's vector charts for myself the OESENC vector chart plugin. If I go to the shop and click onto the plugin, then I can see the various charts that I can purchase as part of this. Previously, I just went for the British Isles, um, but this time I've actually purchased this chart pack on my new Raspberry Pi, which includes France, because that's somewhere we'd like to visit next. So once you've purchased the charts, they go into your account and it, there's, there's lots of information on this site on how you download them, but purchase the charts. You can create a USB key if you want to be able to move the charts from one uh, Raspberry Pi to another. That's a legitimate way of actually moving them so they're actually stored on the USB key. Or you can um, do what I've done and you create a system identity on the Pi and the charts are associated to that. You can install them on two different systems at once so you, you've always got to back up if the um, something on the Pi was to change. It is actually attached to that hardware, so it noticed when I changed from the Pi 3 to the Pi 4. But as you can see, um, I'm back running on my Pi 3. So at the moment, I've got the charts. The, ex the, the subscription has actually expired, so I don't get any updates. However, I can still view the chart um, on the Raspberry Pi, so that, that's also a good thing. So we head back to the options page. The plugin for myself has, has now been installed. So if you hit the preferences. So you can see here um, on the plugin page that you would create a, a system identifier file, and that's what you upload um, to the OCharts website. So you'd need to save that somewhere. You can either do that on the Raspberry Pi if it's connected, or you can transfer the file off and connect it across. Okay, so you can see here that this is where we would load upload the file. So once you've generated that, um, basically that fingerprinting file on the Raspberry Pi, you can either do this on the Pi, you can do it on a separate machine, it's entirely up to you. You would go here and you would upload it. You then, once that's uploaded, you, you, you give it a name, a system name, which you can create here. And then you associate your chart to that system. So you can see here, I've already associated this to the new um, Pi, but what I could do is use my uh, second license that I've got and associated to the OpenCPN2, which is the, the uh, Raspberry Pi 3. Um, so I could do that, and then that's associated, it's requested. Then when you head back to the Pi and you press refresh and you've logged in in the plugin, it automatically sees those charts available and will just download them for you. Once you've done that, you log in, um, which is done on the charts page. You log in on this page here and you'll see your uh, charts that are available you click on that and at the bottom this will change to download download the charts that'll take quite a while um, but once they're downloaded they unpack um, and your charts are active 